question will mm -hmm. be, even when there are drop costs, mm -hmm. when there are problems, mm -hmm. you imagine mm -hmm. that some of these operators will reach out to customers to say, tomorrow we are going to be having a problem with our connection. Bear with us. Uh, these are some of the uh, incentives that we are giving you because we had, in the last three days, bad networks. You can imagine how many times I wanted to call out regular, I mean, uh, operators online. I just were... Look, Show, me show, 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 I think you know this. There's some intellectual conversations around this, and, and I do know that you know uh, ordinary citizens without the technical understanding of how these services are provided may not have the understanding. So there are times that you experience bad connection. Again, I'm not here to to take a brief for, but there are times you experience bad connection that is simply due to the fact that an infrastructure has been destroyed somewhere. So one of the first thing memo that I've been working on as a minister is actually to declare telecommunications infrastructure critical natural, na national infrastructure. Because there are times people go van vandalize a base station, steal some of the things there to go resell. Every time that is done, it gets in the way of quality of connection that citizens get. There are times people dig the ground and they end up breaking fiber optic cables. Those fiber optic cables also contribute to the quality of service that you and I get. Those things are not, the, the, the telcos are not pre-warned that someone is going to go somewhere to steal something. Uh, the quality of service, in their opinion, they want you to experience the best quality of service. But because, Minister, yeah. I'm looking at the fact that the yeah. customer is king in that industry. It is, yeah. And so when the, there's a disruption, yeah. the customer is not a witch yeah. or a magician to yeah. know what exactly the problem exactly. is. Isn't it incumbent on the provider to say, yes, we had a problem yes. yesterday. Apologies for the problem. But they don't just go on as though nothing so is for, for them, A lot of people so would say Nigeria so them, so it's for, just a, a, no, a so, climate so for them, So goes. for them, typically what they would do is switch into action to try and go plug that gap where there's that infrastructure that has been destroyed. What we're now doing with NCC is actually shifting. So we used to call this quality of service. We're now shifting it to quality of experience. The conversation is now moving into the need for MNOs to actually engage the citizen. Because there's a lot of knowledge gap around the services that you consume, what leads to quality and what leads to bad quality services most of the time.